Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. Yes, for the returning subscribers, welcome back. And for those that are new, feel at home. What we do here, we do scrutinize and analyze music shots. Yes. So we are continuing with this journey. And before we dive in, again, today for our Kenya nation, we had a few funerals here and there. So may all those souls rest in peace. We know that we'll all one day pass there. All right. Um, today, we are continuing with the journey. We are on music shot number 81. Yes. And it's a very beautiful song. It's by uh, Muigai, yeah, Muigai Kiguda official, Muigai Jeroge, as he's called, his other name. Uh, and that song, it's called Dikwedete Nuria Uwana, okay? That I don't love you just because of your looks. Yes, I see Mugabe blessing. Thank you for coming. Welcome. So we are on music shot number 81. Yes, so Omudu Today is about love. Let's hear what this song have to say. You know, I think nowadays, whenever there is a new song, whenever our artists, our talented artists, come up with a song, let us be this kind of people who listen carefully what they are telling us, what they are singing, you know, the words in their songs. Because it could be that people, that we just sing it without, we don't like soak it in what message they are having in those songs. So I think it's high time. We start to be listening carefully, you know, and soaking in nicely to understand what they're trying to tell us. All right. So let's jump in without wasting any time. Music shot number 81. Jerry Kimani, thank you for coming. We're just starting now. Music shot number 81. And I will read what the song says. And listen carefully, okay? The strength of love is a disaster that nobody can escape. Hope you're together up to there. Whenever I'm close to you, you make me forget myself. You know, the first verse there, that was a very strong word. The strength of love is a disaster nobody can escape. That means if someone loves, nothing can stop it. You know, it's like no one can stop the heart from loving, right? Let's hear what the song says. I am satisfied with your love and I receive you like a song. We know songs are beautiful, right? I don't love you for how you look. I love you for who, for who I become when I am with you. Wow, that's strong words. That I don't love you for your looks. I love you for who I become when I am with you. Wow, that's very strong words, right? That, for example, there's a saying, I think for us Kikuyu people, there's a saying, we say that women, you know, there's a saying like that, which means we women, we wives, we are the ones who make a home to be a home. Yeah, that means that in one way or another, it's like we, are, we women, we are, we are being given credit that we can either build a home or we can destroy a home. It depends on us women, on us wives, more or less. L let's continue to hear what we say, because if you hear this verse, that is because of who you make me to become. That's why I love you. There is also a saying, men, please don't kill me. There is always a saying that men are also like little children. You know, it doesn't matter how old your man is, your husband, your boyfriend is. It doesn't matter. You as a woman, me as a woman, we have to take those duties for some of the things to make sure that the home sticks. You know, it comes a time that you can't take it anymore, especially when it comes to cheating. You know, but when it comes to these other things, I think we women, we can do better and we usually do better. I think the only time I think we women, we really get touched. It's when we are cheated on. 
you know we women you have softer hearts i think right i don't want to say that it's only only men that cheat some women cheat as well but hey when you have a family to avoid all this stick together to your man or to your wife right let's hear what the song says god gave us two hands and two two feet he gave us two eyes and two ears but god gave us one heart goro to give it to the one we love this heart i can't divide it into two wow ah huh? kikuyu men where are you come here tell me if that's true according to this verse ah huh? that god gave us two hearts yes two legs feet yes eyes too yes ears too yes but the heart goro just one ah huh? and in this song it's saying that this heart goreno it cannot be divided ah huh? so it means even if there is this men who have two wives or three wives it could be that they love one more than the other one according to this song that i understand it that you can never love them equally there is no way there is one that is more than the other or the others i don't know how many men some men marry even 10 wives i think if it's allowed i don't know in kenya in the western world that's mission impossible in the western world it's one at a time if you are tired with your husband you are tired with your wife you make nice divorce everyone goes on way and then you can look for your partner here there is nothing about two wives three wives four i don't know what there's nothing like that one at a time yes so for the african people i think it's us who marry more our men i don't think our women are allowed to marry more men i think why should the men marry more women if the women are not allowed to marry more men can somebody tell me we have to be fair yes we have to uh, play a fair game if the men can marry more what about the women you know anyway every country different cultures are different i think but i think something like that has to be checked i how i i pray the one day it will be one at a time to avoid all these quarrels and fights and i don't know all these you know it's so much that goes on when it coming to second and these and you know it's scandal then the second one or the third one coming maybe is someone who is lazy want to take what the first wife has built you know sometimes all these things this can never happen in the western world no it's one at a time yes so let's hear what the song says that this hurt cannot be shared there we are clear so we get it right so if a man have two or three or four or five or six wives it means there is one who is more favorite because the hurt ah goreta gyota kugayanyo so these are these others are extras so you as a woman for me i would never agree. i thank god i've never dated african men because i would go crazy i don't want my man to marry a second wife no i don't know i, I can see here um um mugambi and jerry kimani and also um i see child of the most high welcome all of you i don't know if you have here have ever gone through that that your second or third wife or something like that because i i don't think i would ever live with that I don't know how some women do that or maybe they have no choice the first wives have no choice I I doubt how a first wife can just say ah it's okay bring a second one oh bring a third one bring bring how ah I'm not I don't know I'm not so confident about this I know one thing that from my late mom's side I know that my grandfather from my mom's side you know my my mom's dad he had three wives but he married i think the first wife he married then she passed then he married a second one and after the second one passed who was uh, yeah the second one passed then he married the last one so he was marrying each but after one has passed he do want to be 
a widower. Is it called widower for a man? I think so. Widow is woman, widower is a man. I think so. Yes. So he didn't want to stay alone. So he married each one, one after one has passed. But to have all at the same time, I, I wonder how. I know that this, especially in our Kikuyu culture, many people used to do that. But to date, I, 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 I don't understand. I, I don't know. I, I could never cope with that. I don't know if some of you would cope with this, Jerry Kimani or uh, Mugambi Blessing, or Child of the Most High, would you cope with that? Huh? And you can't say anything. I don't know. I would never live with that. No way. Okay, let's hear what the song says. Love grows with time. Try to make time for me. This one about time, that one I agree on. Because time, it's very important in a relationship. You know, there are some people who are married, but then they almost never see each other. You know, it's just like working, 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 and then after work, maybe comes home, tired. They don't even spend time together. And also, there are some people who travel a lot, you know, that your work is, you as a husband or a wife is just traveling, traveling. Sometimes I used to travel with my husband because he said, oh, hell, it's good we travel together. Okay, but we know then it's more, more expense if you have to travel. And sometimes I myself, I can't because I also have my own job, you know, because it's good when also both are working. You can't just rely on one partner working. It's good when both are working. I also see uh, Shiro in Auckland. Welcome. Thank you, Shiro, for coming. Music short number 81. So we are discussing about love today. Yes, this thing about you have to create time. This I agree on, on this sentence of the song. Yeah, that you have to create time for your partner. Yes, I agree. Kenyambu, welcome. Thank you for coming. So let's hear, let's continue to hear the song. Yeah. Um, when I am near you, you make my heart fill with peace. When will all these journeys, listen to this, when will all these journeys end so that our hearts would know each other better? You know, on this one, when will all these journeys end? It means there is one of you as a partner who is traveling too much. You are not in one place. You are busy. You know, I also see uh, Nancy Peter. Welcome. Kanyambu, I welcome you already. Yes, welcome all of you. Music short 581. You know, this thing about journeys, when will this journey end? I do remember one thing, uh, which this one I agree on. When I used to, um, to live in Germany, those of you who follow my story, you know that I have the father for my daughter, who was my first boyfriend. We didn't last so long. Then I had my second man who was Swedish, not the one that I have now, another one who, who was Swedish. And we used to live together in Germany because we met also in Germany. And I remember when I used to work, because I used to work a lot. And um, later on, when he fooled me, he told me one time when I asked, why did you do that? Do you know the excuse he gave me? It could be maybe he's right. I, I don't say that is the right to cheat. But he told me, yeah, but uh, you've been working a lot whenever I'm in Germany and uh, you never give me time. Because he used, he used to have his own company in Sweden. But when he come to Germany, Hey, come on. I also have my life. I have my daughter. I have my family back home in Kenya then that I used to help a lot. And I did not want to depend on him. So I still had to continue with my journey. I still uh, with my work. I had to earn my money every month. My salary. I needed that. So whenever he came, yes, he's at home in, in Germany then. But then I have to go to work. And as we know, you have, uh, uh, for example, you, you uh, the hours that usually are allowed are like 40 hours a week. But if you want extra money, you have to work extra hours. And I used to do that. And this used to hurt him. But, you know, he never told me like, oh, please don't go to work extra hours or something like that. Because maybe he was afraid he would lose me. I don't know. But he, he never told me like, please don't go extra hours. I want to spend time with you. So sometimes I go extra hours. And then when I come home, I'm tired. And of course, I shower and then I want to sleep. And maybe next I have to wake up again to go to work. And so he 
he he didn't like it that I was working so much and he was at home but remember he has his own company then in Sweden he had workers working for him he didn't have to be all the times there in Sweden but me what about me that's why you even as a woman you also have to think about yourself because you can't just stay there and wait just for the men to be provider yeah idea what are you gonna do you're gonna be left here with nothing those of you that I tell my story even after I finished with him with that my ex my life continued I still drove nice cars I still lived in nice house I see everything went on because I was still earning good money I was still working so nothing in my life changed apart from he was not there you know because I left him after he cheated on me but one of the reason he said he cheated he up to today he says he tells everybody oh she was working so much she never have time for me you know so I always felt lonely I don't know what you can say I don't know if you've ever been cheated because of working so much because maybe it's true maybe it's the men who think that way it could be some women want their men to work a lot to bring more money home those who are not working you know but for me when I was working like that I never thought that way I always thought hey I work and then when I have holiday you know we have holiday like maybe six weeks we used to travel everywhere around the world so I thought apart from those six weeks which I have holiday in between there I can work as much and I was younger you know I was younger so I thought ah, I could work more extra hours it was a mistake I don't know if I would say that but still I don't agree on that he had the right to cheat on me you know he could have told me okay sorry you work too much it doesn't work between us we have to go different ways then I would have said okay it hurts me but I have to work then we would have gone different ways for example you know but you cannot keep quiet not tell your partner that maybe she or he is working too much and you're keeping it inside inside and so you think ah he don't care about me she don't care about me that's why she's just working she comes home showers go and sleep no time for me you know it was like that actually for me that time and uh i i i didn't think that it was something so but sometimes we had dinners together i would wake up have dinner together maybe go back to sleep or you know it was something like that but hey create time for your partner this song is saying that those journeys that you make reduce them otherwise your partner will go right i think these are men who are more sensitive when they see women working i don't know but let's hear what the song says okay but it could be also the writer of this song we know that it's um we guy the official could be he was singing this song for his second wife according to me that's how i see it not the first one because the first one was a housewife so with this journey thing ah it doesn't match nicely but anyway what we do here we do scrutinize only the song not the not the artist right but let's continue to hear what the song says um okay uh the journey that you make i've read that let me see uh when you make my heart i've read that the journeys all these journeys end so that our hearts would know each other better i've read that let me see okay then the song says i am mature enough to know what i hate and what i love hey are you listening to me please listen i repeat again i am mature enough to know what i hate okay who do you hate and what i love with love i understand okay i know my heart is well i can't dig a hole for it's mine ah the 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 ilima that means when he or she is choosing that partner that love she has that feeling that's the right one are we together okay ah uh, hope you're getting me to the number to we are scrutinizing analyzing the song you know this song has been there but we maybe we didn't get the meanings the real meanings of this song or who has been sung to okay let's continue ah uh, okay i know my heart well i can't dig a hole for its mine we've read that agree to grow with me to reach love's 
happiness. Muthule na gikeno kia wedo. Okay. Let's continue to hear. If you see something being desired, it has been searched by many and can't be found. Yes. That one I agree on. If you see something being desired, kitu kire didirio. Huh? Nikitu kitha ka. It's like when you go and you see, wow, that's a beautiful, you know. Uh, so you start, if you, if you see like, maybe you like my, this year what I'm wearing, although it's very old, maybe this 20 years old, I think. But maybe you look at it and you think, oh, Jerry, I love the, the, the uh, blouse you're wearing. Uh, where did you find it? It's 20 years, still full, not kaput anywhere. It was good quality, you know. It's about quality, not quantity. Yeah, so this year we are talking about quality, uh, something which is desired. Most of the times it's quality stuff that are desired. People Google, hey, where did you get that? Uh, where, where, how can I get it? You, you start to investigate how to get it, how to capture it. But here, he is talking about a lady, I guess, or even, let's say for us ladies, for men. Yeah, someone who is being desired. Someone you think like, oh. That person, many women think he's cute, he has good behaviors, he, he's not a drunkard, he's not an, uh, 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 an alcoholic, uh, he don't abuse people, or she, you know, you want this good quality partner. Many people look for that. Yes, you know, but we know very well that for the first moment when you meet somebody, you don't know. This can only happen if, for example, it's someone that you often see or, or, or you heard about, you know? Because if you just meet a stranger for the first time, you won't know the quality of that person. It will take a little bit, a while until you can know, right? So let's continue to hear. And when it's in your arms, that means when you have this good quality in your arms, you would better take care of it. Here it means take care of her or take care of him. Yes. So when we talk of this one, uh, we have to tell you men, you men also. You know, when you get your woman, take care of your woman as well. Yes, take care because the moment you started the life with her, you also knew that she was a good wife. She was a good woman. That's why you, you started life with her. Otherwise, if she was not a good woman or a good husband, you wouldn't start life together. You know, so I think here, uh, it's you have to take care of both. If it's a man, you have to take care of your woman. Because for us women, for example, we are very sensitive. We, we don't want to be treated wrongly or, or you, you talk to us without respect or you, you ignore. You know, there are some men after they have their women at home, they just ignore them. Uh, they just ignore them. Or they just talk rudely to them. Or they just ignoring. It means like you, you don't treat that woman, that lady anymore. Like the way you used to do the first time when you met. You know, you even, there are some people even, they, they don't have even sweet words for each other. Huh? You hear like, you know, sometimes I joke, I, I, I sometimes love when I hear like how our Kikuyu men. Sometimes you hear, hey, nina gawao, hey. Hey, my toe, hey, hey, come on. Call them babes, love, sweetheart, darling, sunshine. Huh? Call them nice names, call them sweet names. Sweeten up your relationships, you know? Because to take care of your, the one that you have, this will help your relationship to, to, to keep tight. Huh? You cannot just... You, you cannot just uh, treat your partner that anyhowly, you know, just because she's there at home and she's the one keeping care of the kids or maybe because she changed her body. We know that some women, some of us, after we give birth to the children, we know that some of us, the bodies can change. You know, if someone who was maybe small can become bigger, Someone who is bigger can become maybe small and maybe your man wanted when you are, you know, our body can change a lot. When we get children, 
So you as a man, you have to understand all those things. But on the other side, you as a woman, you have to know that it's good to keep care of your body. Yes, you as a woman, yes, understand that you've, that you've given birth, you have baby, yes. It's good for us to take care of our bodies because you never know. You know, you never know what can happen. I always say there's never a guarantee. There's never a guarantee that the one you are with will stay with the rest for you, with, will stay with you for the rest of your life. We wish so, we hope so. You know, but usually it's not like that all the times. So keep care of your bodies. Take care of what you're eating. Yeah, go and train or walk. Do something. Keep yourself nice. Huh? So that in case, not only because in case you are left, you'll find somebody else, but it's also healthy. You know, you have to love yourself. You think like, oh, I want to look good. I want to look nice. Yeah. And we know for some of us, the more older we get, our bodies can be a little bit difficult to control if, you, if you're not taking care of your food or you're not taking walks or training. You know, the body can just be uncontrollable the more older you get. So it's good to have control of your own body. Do it. And of course, on the other side, not only about health, it's also nice. Your men, yeah? You as a woman, your men want to see, oh, this is my nice lady. Uh, this is my wife. This is my girlfriend. You have a nice body. Yes. You know? And even you as a man, do as well the same. We women, we also want when you look nice, tidy, nice, take care of your body, how you look, how, how you keep yourself. And most important is also eat healthy. Because if you take, if you don't take care of yourself, you know, men, I think, according to me, with my 49 years of age, how I understand men is that men, they, they love looking something new, you know, some men, they go there, they will still find someone who is maybe more beautiful than you. Yes. So try you have to know that I would say that you are in a competition, but have it in your head. Put it here in your head that you have to look nice for your men. You as a woman, you as a man as well. But for me, I can talk on women because I'm a woman. Yeah. He also would know. It wouldn't be a problem for you to get another one like this. It wouldn't, you know, if you want. Yeah. But some people, it's like, if you're careless of yourself, especially the housewives. I'm talking to you housewives. Huh? Housewives. I live in a big villa. I'm relaxed here nicely. I have my car there. You don't even walk from there. From the house inside the car. You drive, I don't know children where. You come back home. You are doing nothing to take care of your body. Nothing. Can you imagine the day you'll be left? Can you imagine the day your husband, your partner will go out there and see somebody? Huh? Nice. Mudura, you're your Yes. Yes. Because we know how especially men are. Huh? I don't think. That most of the men near to argue with that baby. To me, I near argue with that baby arume most of the times. But the other way, it's not so often. Most of the times, the men they choose nice what's what's looking nice and beautiful, yeah. And then you, you when it's your responsibility. You wanna who wanna do the work? We moshiye. Please, women, wake up. You have to know. Okay, yes, I'm here. I'm a housewife because I'm having maybe young children. But take time for yourself. Eat good food. Huh? Yeah, when you look at the food, it's just oily. Because the more you're eating fatty foods, you'll become big as well. Huh? You have to make sure. You know, salads. Huh? Eat good, healthy food. Because you have to keep care of your body. Because we know that some men, many, many years ago, men were for big. 
Medaga, metawatia, big mamas, mama kiwinya style, uh, as we call it in Kenya. They wanted that, but not nowadays. Maudeni Masha Jiria, wake up. Those are not the days that our men, our Kenyan men or whatever wanted mama kiwinya style. Big, no. Nowadays, Mareda, eh? Mareda, your style. That one. So it's up to you as a woman. Know what you're eating. Even if you can't run, take a walk. Walk every day. If you're in a country where even we, we are in the Western world where it's sometimes winter cold, just to keep our body nice. Yes. Because huh? you have to think. The time. Eh? You have to keep yourself nicely. That it will be easier for you even to get the next one. Yes. I think it's high time for you always to think about you yourself. As, because some women, I know we love our children very much. So we, women just think after they are married, only their children, their children, their children. They even forget about their men most of the times. You know? No, change. Do it like Mzungu style. You know, the Wazungus, they have time for their children, time for their lovers, their partners. They, they make it. They make sure, and they, they don't change it in between there. They can tell the children, now we have had time for you, now it's time for mommy and daddy. Yes. If you have, for example, a babysitter or whatever, you leave the babysitter with the kids, you go out, have time together, go together to the gym, go taking walks together. Huh? Have this time, mommy and daddy time alone. We know that you love your children. But hey, don't forget about yourself. Huh? And you know nowadays, huh? nowadays is digital. So wake up. Uh, be a digital wife. Uh, even your partner knows. You won't have a problem to look for the next one. Any. And life goes on. You know? So let's continue with the song. The song says, um, There is no greater pain. No, I, 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 no, I have to read the, the other one. Um, if you see something, being desired, I've read that. It has been searched by many and can't be found. Yes, I've read that one. And then when it's in your arms, I've read that as well. You take care of it. I've read that as well. There is no greater pain. Listen to me, please, carefully. There is no greater pain than knowing the one you love loves another. Hey, I do it with you, okay? Have you listened to that sentence? Huh? And there is nothing. At go tricky to kill you. Huh? Ta modoria. Where did the akemenya where did the oge? Can you imagine? Huh? Can you imagine? I can tell you my story. I can tell you. Uh, before I met um my husband now. My husband that I have now. We've been together many many years now. But in between that time from my other Swedish to this one, in between there, I had met one guy, but we didn't have anything together. We, he just like, um, he had seen me a few times and uh, because he used to work in the same city I used to work in, in, in Stockholm. And uh, he still lived in Stockholm. And he told me one time if he would have, if, if I would like to have a coffee with him, I said, yeah, sure. Because I was then a single, you know. I went and we, we went to a cafeteria. I didn't go to his home. No, no. So we went to a cafeteria and we were having some coffee there. And he told me he'd seen me for a long time. I think he had seen me for a whole year. So it's like he was mastering me. Yeah. He even knew that we had dogs. So it's true. He knew me because he told me everything. Oh, I always see you walking with three big dogs. Because me and my ex, we used to have a Doberman dogs, three of them. And he told me. So he had observed me for, for a while. And I told him, no, we are no more together. We are divorced and everything. And then he told me that he, he think I'm attractive and he would like uh, to try it with me if we can be together and stuff like this. And I told him, at the moment, I'm not ready. I want a, a, a break at the moment. Because it was maybe like three months after I've been divorced. You know, you don't go to rush. So I told him, no, not at the moment. Uh, I, want, I want to have a break a little bit, a, a while until I can decide. 
if I want. And I, uh, and I told him, I also don't know if I should continue living in Sweden, if I'll move back to Germany. I told him because my daughter lives in Germany then. And uh, then he agreed on that. And sometimes he used to see me. Sometimes I go walk. He used to live in the same area. Sometimes I go walking and he could see me and say hello, this and that. So it went on. And then he started to write me letters. You know, in Sweden, when you have the names of somebody, you can find out the address. It's very easy. He used to write me love letters on my post. He used to write, you know, it's not so common that people write letters, but he used to write. I could open my post and there is his le letter. Then he started to send flowers. So I started to be scared because I felt like, uh oh, 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 this is a little bit too much because I told him already that I want a break. I haven't decided yet if I want to be in a relationship, if I want not now or later or move out of Sweden to Germany. I, I didn't know what to do. But anyway, he started to send me flowers. I don't know, cards with how, how much he loved me. I never used to reply. And with the, with the flowers, first time I took and then because he had given me his number, I told him, please not to send me more, more flowers. I told him in a nice way. And he said, okay. But I always felt whenever I go like walking or I felt always watched, you know, I, I was a little bit scared that someone is stalking me because for me, it felt like I was being stalked. And sometimes when I'm in my car, I could drive. And sometimes I used to see him with his car at the back following me, you know, so it became more and more scary for me. So. I decided it went on like maybe six months. And in that six months is when then I met my husband. Now I met, I was out with my girlfriend and I met him. Now my, my husband that I have now. So I was so happy because I told this guy, I told him, sorry, I'm in a new relationship. So I hope you understand and respect that. But I, I was feeling watched and followed and everything. It was a little bit, it was very scary for me, actually. Yes, because it's like, um, it can be, you know, it, it's like, yeah, it, it can be a little bit tricky. It, it can be, you know, it can be. So there's no greater pain than knowing the one you love, loves another. So I think this man, because he, after wrote, after I told him I have somebody else, he wrote me one letter and he told me, okay, I understand. It really hurts me because I think I'm already in love with you. And we've never had anything together. He told me, I've, uh, it really hurt me because I'm already in love with you and I had hoped, but I wish you well. And then I told him, thank you. And after that, I had to, I told him that I had to cancel his uh, number because I didn't want to have contact anymore because you never know, you know? Yeah, and I thank God it worked on with my husband that I have now and we are together many, many years already, you know? But what I want to say, I felt sorry for him, but he, because I think that was the first time I experienced that somebody telling me, he loves me, but for me, I had not feelings for him or anything. And then I found somebody else who I thought is like more my taste. But with this guy, I think there was one problem. Remember, my ex was blonde, blue eyes. Okay? He was blonde, blue eyes. And we were together many, many years. And then he fooled me. And then this guy that was like, I would say stalking, but more or less like stalking. He was also very blonde and blue eyes. It could be that that maybe put me a little bit away. It could be. I don't want to say that I judged him just because he was blonde or blue eyes. But it was too fast. He came too fast, you know. Just three months after I was divorced. So I was not ready for him, unfortunately. But anyway, I hope he's happy. If he watched this, I hope wherever he is, he's happy and he found someone new. I don't know. I, I, I hope so for him. So what I wanted to say is that one, that there is no greater pain the knowing the one you love loves another because that was the case with that with a man i'm sure maybe you've gone through the same um then we can read the last sentence there the fruits of true love are there you know the children i think the fruits of true love are there love with no scars get me right here this is a very very important sentence love with no scars love that doesn't need Cases, its scars are your secret. The God of joy and respect fits in that kind of love. Wow. This is a tough one. Do you hear that? Life, 
love with that with no scars ah ate we do utari ki scars we to ile ma we do utari ile ma you know there are so many people who still live together but they have scars inside but maybe they don't know the way out rigi mo hetwa hau ni ciana rigi mo hetwa hau ni indo this with the scars it happens like with the wazungus i can talk here because i've just dated wazungus in my life so i know in and out about wazungus and i've lived with them that years in this western world with wazungus most of them they can be married maybe even not happily married but they are stuck together because of material things because sometimes some people many years before when they used to marry they never used to have this thing called um you know the contract the agreement that you make before you marry that every partner has own stuff you know they never used to have that so what happened was they used to marry just like that and then they get rich and then after they get rich maybe there's no more love but they know okay maybe it's the man who was working maybe the wife was housewife for example but here according to the western world when you divorce it's half half no be kwadio iganio nuthunuthu besha there is no way out ah nowadays they are clever because it came this thing uh, you know like here in sweden we call it actors cop for road yeah it's it's the contract you sign between you and your partner that everybody has own stuff yes i thank god i have that which i told my husband is good for us you know everybody when they do shake which is perfect yeah because this thing it makes people many 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 wazungus they live together but there is no love on a mat ile ko managia tene but maybe they love like if they live in a big house we love they don't want to sell it because and sometimes when it goes too much they are forced to sell it because they must divide have half or one must buy the other one out if the, for example if the house cost 10 million you must buy one out you give her or him 5 million to go out to get out and then you you stay in there you know it's buying somebody out we have something like that so this one it's like cases ikwe dugnya matura ga mashira mashira ko horo wa ito ah you sold these you didn't give me these i don't know what there are so many and also i think in kenya these stories are also there adu matura na dia igotini ah they are day in day out in courts new do i do so i i i think in kenya this thing now it's also there at the all mood wa kai do shiake is the best thing to do if you are young there and you're planning to marry please before you marry your partner make sure you have this thing ah all mood do e yathere mudu mwatiga na mudu akoya do shiake iria e theire gutiro wa gutunya mudu uri ongi i think that's the best thing to do right I, that's that's the end of this song it's actually it's a beautiful song those who understood it i know you know all what the song has talked about it's by muigai kegoda official muigai muigai joroge have sung this song all of you who knows the story hope you you got it nicely and uh, let me before we end i can say hello here to all of you i always do that before we close uh muga be blessing hey jerry Yeah, hey Mugambi, Jerry Kimani, hey host, hey uh, Jerry Kimani, hi uh, Jerry Kimani, hey Mugambi, we are together, host the Jerry Kimani, uh, hey Jerry, the child of the Most High, ha ha ha, never, that's Jerry Kimani, Gasheri, Mimi, Niri, Rudishwa, Niri Shidwa, ah Niri Shidwa, Ju Sayote, first wife, Dio Huteseka, hey do kana te kira kui kere Dio, ah ah. There are still many single men. A uh, child of the most high, I can't handle that me neither. Hello everyone, that Shiro. Kanyambu hi uh, and CK and everyone. Hi hi. Uh, hi to Shiro, hi to Kanyambu. Hello everyone. Uh, hi hi Shiro. Um that's Kanyambu and Nancy Pira. Good evening from Jamuhuri. That's Nancy Pira. Uh Jerry Kiman hi to Nancy, Kanyambu, Shiro and Jerry. Uh, hi everyone. Uh Hi Jerry that Kanyambu better show hi host and everyone thank you better show for coming as well uh, Jerry Kimani smiling Jerry Kimani hi Bera um Nancy Pira uh, lifestyle also sending some love Lizmu hey um Jerry Kimani good evening everyone 
uh, everyone to Njeri. Good evening to Jay Reri. Um, Nancy Pira uh, says, audience, like like this, the live stream. Yes, I'll appreciate. Thank you, Nancy. True. No Korea. Tauli. Tautli. No Korea. No Ko Korea. Tautli. Lismo. That doesn't matter. Right. No Korea. Tau Tau. I, I, I think it's some Tau Tau, maybe she wanted to say that Lismo. Uh, John Mwangi. Hey, welcome. Gay Deka sister. Nita Gay Deka. Uh, Jerry Kimani. Korea, Korea Tautau. Okay, then I was right. Korea Tautau. They take everything. Yeah. Aria Moka, second or third voice or something. Uh, Jerikimani exercise and hydrate Muhim Sana. That's right. Yeah. Adu meige natu mwiri tuwega. Ni wati guwa ukona mudu ugeyenya. Yes. John Mwangi. Mama Kiwinya kwaheri bye bye. Yes. Jerry Wairiri. Yep. Mutumia wena mifago. Yes, exactly. That's very important. Jerry Kimani, not just for men, but for one's self-well-being. Yes, we talked about that. Because these men do run away once you start getting illness that could have been escaped by maintaining her lifestyle. Yes, exactly. Food and exercises. Please put it in your head here. Please. Our women. Let's keep on that. Also, our men exercise and eat right. Ah, pukale yo jega. Tio na kido ke kira kanwa. Ah ah. Teresa K K. Network Networker. Okay, thank you, Teresa. Hey girl, um, are you doing today? I'm fine. Finally, I catch I catch you live. That's Nighthood Gaming. Thank you, Nighthood. I always go live seven forty Kenyan time. Thank you for coming. Jerry Wairiri, Teresa KK, and Nighthood, welcome. The girl, Jerry Wairiri, that's Nighthood saying thank you. Um, hello, Sherry, and everyone, that's Elizabeth Washira. Uh, hi, Elizabeth, Jerry Kimani. Uh, Elizabeth, Jerry Kimani, also saying hello. Uh, prenuptial agreement, yes, that's the one I was looking for. Prenuptial agreement, yes, there you are. Please, if you're planning to get married, ask for that one. I think in Kenya you have that, right? I think you have that because when you get that, you won't get in trouble. And also, we know very well that it's very bad. For example, for me, even when I left my ex, uh, the one that, that I had before my husband now, I didn't take anything from him. I took nothing else. Nothing. On I doing with that, you know, I had nice design utensils. I left them there too. I wanted to start a new life. If you can do that, but of course, if you have bought things yourself, it's good you take what belongs to you. No, to can I yet draw a mood? No, can I do some mood? No. On a matiga na, matigere oni nyu baya ke matigere galishi ke matigere migode ke do adi kuya. Ito shono shikure here ma urumu no toni didi no ya muono ko alali mudhuri waku, mutumia waku. Tiga nana ito shia ke. Because a lot of people, madhi agi ne makabia kugia merimo, itara menye kairo imako. Todo nwa dhiri ogitu nya mudhuri waku ido. Ogitu nya mutumia waku ido. A didi ne ide, a noge ide. Ito isho igu tora ikule yaka we na siyana. You know, if you have children with that man or with that woman, of course the children have the rights for their parents' stuff. But you, you yourself, you you have no right to come to Nyanya or whatever. You know, if it's someone we're not do because if it's someone who is fair, he or she would say, okay, you've stayed with me so many years. We have children together. I have so many properties. I would like to give you this and this and that. That's what gentlemen does. You know, like I can give you a story with my own husband here. You know, my husband he was married before. I was I'm a div I, I was divorced he too, and with his ex wife, they had a very big nice villa, one of the best villas in the city we live in in Gota, one of the best, big villa, with which was worth I don't know many many millions of Swedish crowns. What he did, because the woman could not maintain that, he sold that. He bought her another villa, a little bit smaller villa, but he bought for her so that he could live, she could live there nicely with the son. What a gentleman. You know, how many men do those kind of things? And I also told him that's the right thing to do because, hey, you have a child even with this woman. 
where you're just living hard, just squeeze it. They were used to this luxurious life. You know, they were used to living nice. But some people, when they go divorce, they want to squeeze, they want to put their wife down and the children, they want the people to suffer. That's not a gentleman. Huh? How can, for example, you know that you, you had a nice, beautiful villa with your wife and the kids, and then after you chase them out, you chase the wife out or the kids out, you don't even care where they're going to live or the kind of, and you know, they were used to high life. Huh? But for you, you, you don't care. No one am where them where. It's not all right. It's not okay. Huh? It's high time people to grow up. You, if you're a man, please mature. You know, be a gentleman. Know that you had spent so many t years with this partner of yours. To kareke adi nakuja asafe. Give what you can if, if it's possible. Yes. Don't be selfish. At so ni mwahe tani ya liukure dadi ya kone uruna kou. Edi wakobare na kou. Can you imagine? Huh? Uratika mudo had a very luxurious everything. Person going to rent maybe a one room place. And you have, and you have money you yourself. It's not, it's unfair. It's not okay. It's high time. We shape up. Let us be grown-ups. Huh? Let us be people who are mature. Let us be people who can, you know, like, please, let, let us be understanding people. I think it's the best thing to do. You know, like for me, as I tell you my story, when I divorced my Swedish men, I had worked, I had saved money, and I was able to buy my own flat somewhere also also in stockholm i bought then when i was living in stockholm, my own flat and i left him in his own nice place with everything you know he all what he had to do is just to look for someone else you know that's that's i think it's fair and because god see everything god even helped me that even the next partner that that i'm gonna get will be even more nice or even more richer than the one i had before because god see everything but if you are greedy if you are new to you know so crazy that's why some of us they get diseases ulcers because the moment you go and snatch huh? you, you go and snatch other people's stuff if you never know Ono kwe lali mudhuri wa kukua mutumia waku. Itosho wa mutunya. Todu ena kirelo alali gori wa dunyira ke. Na ni woda turaju kagira kene. I used to wake up so early to go to work. So as to be able to pay this. To, to be able to afford this. Now near dunya. Just because you know it's, it's not okay. Like a modu akuhe. Tika kumutunya na bara ite na magoti. You know. And you. Whether you are a man or a woman. Wake up. Stand up. Wake up. Yeah? so that you can reduce all these court cases and we know like the court cases in kenya they can last years and years and years because the one who has money huh? we know how it works there you go pay money your case is pushed cases cases 10 years even some people pass still waiting for the for the justice which never happens because cases are pushed and pushed and pushed so if you are there please if you have your husband, your wife, if it doesn't work between you both, sit down like grown-ups. Do it like wazungus. Agree on that. Okay. We have, I don't know how many utensils. Do you want any? Or who want to take all? Do you want half? If that's the case, do it. How many cars do you have? Do you want one car? I take the other one. Be mature. And even by doing that, you won't waste any money on lawyers. You know, that's what, you know, it's, it's good to be logic. Think logically. Huh? And then you will reduce hatred. I have case to answer. You know, it's not all right. Sit and please solve some issues. You know, it's not okay with these court cases, court cases. And it's somebody you've stayed so many years together. Huh? The mother of your children, the father of your children. Because of material things. Why? Don't forget that we will all die and leave everything in this world. Huh? 
you will go wake your how ah kali mai nikau that's it that's it you will take nothing with you so it's high time to wake up start to think like mature people so that we can reduce all these cases it's it's heartbreaking to hear how many cases are in you know i have I have some of my um, schoolmates i used to study tattoo girls and get your girls and some of my friends they became very big lawyers in kenya and sometimes when we talk they tell me the cases before them unbelievable you know and it's family cases are millions millions you know you just see people out there but you don't know they have cases men are making more routine eh oyo no mwaka he nyumba no eh na ngari no eh na migunde no please why why i think it's high time we start to mature we start to know that when we die we leave everything in this world so that we we can make it better we can, we can do it better yes and then you do all this then you bring hatred even between children you know and for example for me those who list, who follow me you know very well after my both parents passed i told my both brothers me i don't want anything me go die for for na mommy i said i want nothing why because i have my own i hope that you if you are like me and you have your own lands you have your own homes give to your brothers and sisters who don't have mahe reke magaya ne tiga kwenda igena na gukoroka e ni cia mami na baba no mwako na ni joe e e e ona ni no why uratwara ku migunde no yothe na manyumba ma where are you taking where let me ask i think it's high time we mature i think it's high time to start to know that god is the one that gives and when god even see the way you are in your heart god will bless you even at your work wote kwigurira ginya migunde gimege ona gukira iyo waheb your brothers party ya kuna your sisters let us be let us be mature people let us be people who avoid conflicts i think it's high time we do that because it's heartbreaking when i hear how many cases are in our kenyan kids you need to have the majaji mawira na matagiru kundu majaji maitu matarutire wira matwonye nura woraga u those are the kind of cases our judges should be helping us to to follow but not mutumia wakwa reda nyumba e na mugunda e na ki you know those cases let let us try to make the work easier for our lawyers in kenya ah uhoro wa migunda na manyumba na ki let's solve it between us as families let's do it we can do it i did it yes you know i, I think when we listen to all these songs let us be people who swallow the words in these songs because you can hear this that love that doesn't need cases mashira ah huh? love with no scars ah huh? let us be those kind of people who want to go that direction yes i hope you've learned something i hope that this music shot have taught you or will make you to be a better person where you are going wrong i hope so uh let me see before we end if i've read everything uh thank you I, i think i read up to there print up agreement i read up to there what about the kids born in that wedlock the kids have the right shiana shiana right ya kugaya ito shia shiari yes the kids have the right even in our kenyan courts and that's why i say you as a parent whether you are husband or wife even if you finish with your partner just say i have children with this woman my children don't do karekeshe na shia don't do that when because those of you that follow my story you, i told you the story that the the uh, after my mom left my dad my dad got in relationship with someone else they didn't get married and that woman had brainwashed my dad my late dad and my late dad wanted to change all the lads and he has lads in lwakabete kikuyu rogoro areas i don't know where my dad tried to change all the lands all the lands to her to her names but i thank god we me and my two brothers we are, we went to school to good school so we know the rights of children we had already put a covet 
covet ni ugadi ukahigithia ni kitu kitako covet wadi ukahigithia kwa iga mwoto we na shira so even my own dad couldn't sell it or transfer it to anybody else so do that to avoid all these shenanigans and blah 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 and that saved my two brothers other is my two brothers magithia kukobora toria kuli adwigi madhia kukobora yes because we know brainwashing is real yes kuri atumi ya rumo kakuhikirira kakeri na katatu maka brain mush mudhuri oko mudhuri nwe wena ito shiyode aga di kuma adikira maritua so be clever i tell you this because it happened in my family if if we had not put covet on all the lands for my parents osho mutumi ya gyo ito shiyode na legyo na tiga niye fafa yes so be clever be clever and know that these things are real yes anyway i hope that um my message is clear for today. Uh, what about the yes, I've answered that. Hey all. Yes, kula jachoyako exactly. M uh, that's hat and uh, very true and then hat. All right, I thank you all very much. As I always say, you always come back here, you give me your ears, you give me your time. I really don't take it for granted. I know you could be doing something else. So please feel appreciated. Thank you so much and may God continue to see you through. And for those who haven't hit the subscribe button, Please don't forget to subscribe, to comment, to like, to share. I'll appreciate. And we'll be back tomorrow, same time, 7.40 Kenyan time. Yes, I see and wind with Perry. Sorry that you come when we are closing, but you can rewatch it later. But anyway, thank you so much for coming. All right. Stay blessed until tomorrow. Those we always meet later, we know where we're going to meet. Thank you all. Stay blessed.